Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, and we're gonna talk about Twitch. We're gonna talk about how Twitch is done. XQC was offered $100 million, is that right? Is that right, $100 million to stream on Kick, which is a Twitch competitor. For those of you who don't know, it's a pretty new platform. We're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about the backlash from other Twitch creators, Ninja, I watched a video with him the other day talking about like he has to rethink his entire business model at this point because Twitch is effing people over so bad. We're going to talk about the future of Twitch. I don't think there is one. I've said before, I've been saying for probably six months now, I did a video saying that, you know, Twitch should sell to some other streamer. And uh, people said, nah, Twitch isn't going to go anywhere. This is fine. This is just a temporary setback. Look, they're clearly hemorrhaging money or they're being told by Amazon to make more money. They changed the uh, creator royalty split. It was 70-30. Now it's 50-50. Uh, their, their CEO got gone. They were going to ban uh, baked in ads and then they walked that back because they got busted. Uh, you know, it's, it's not good, guys. When you've got competitors throwing gobs of money at people to, to jump ship, their biggest streamers, it's, it's over. It is Twitch is over. It's just it does, it's dead. It just hasn't realized it's dead yet. The body's still twitching. The body's still twitching. There we go. So we're going to talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Uh, Geeky sitting this one out. I don't think she really cares. We've been chronicling the uh, rapid demise of Twitch under Amazon, and it started out with Twitch making really freaking stupid decisions, you know, regarding uh, bans. And, uh, you know, creators getting banned for stupid stuff. You know, if they do something accidentally on air, they get banned. If they would accidentally swear, they get banned. Uh, one creator who I think is on Rumble now got banned because they were joking around in Grand Theft Auto and it was like a sex act or a hate crime or something. They can, and they banned him. But if you're, a, if you're a woman, you can jiggle your tits on Twitch. And that's, that's totally fine. That's totally cool, guys. But uh, Amazon doesn't seem to care too much for Twitch. Uh, they bought it uh, years ago thinking, you know, esports were going to be the next big thing. And then that whole scene has kind of crumbled. And, you know, they banned Dr. Disrespect. We don't know why that happened. Uh, still to this day, I, people have theories, but, uh, he, you know, he's doing fine over on YouTube. And, uh, you know, Twitch just went uh, completely uh, fully uh, PC. They went PC. And uh, they were making some very questionable decisions. And it's just not a safe platform to stream on, in my opinion. We, we actually have a Twitch account. I don't use it very much. I think for a while we were experimenting with doing like 24-7 stream, which you can actually check out on Rumble. You can check out the Clownfish Gaming 24-7 uh, game stream on Rumble. We have several hours of video game videos that we've done, me and the kids, and sometimes with the geeky, and we just, you know, rerun it 24 hours a day. It's kind of fun. You know, it's like watching TV, right? But um, it's just, I don't feel safe streaming on the platform. They'll, they'll follow you around the internet. If you say something on the Twitter or Reddit or something they don't like, they'll ban you. I don't know why anybody would put all their eggs in this basket. Uh, Asmongold keeps defending them, keeps giving them the benefit of a doubt. Even he seemed like he was getting fed up with it. In a video I watched, uh, I think it was last week, I watched it when they were announcing all these new uh, new plans, new schemes to take you know, money from the creators that build up their platform. So let's talk about this first. This is uh, XQC. Twitch is done. Top streamers are saying Twitch is done after this kick deal. Um, for a while, Twitch was the premier live streaming platform. That's true. It exploded in popularity in the late 2010s and only further grew in 2020, partially due to the pandemic. However, the live streaming giant has had competitors pop up as of late, vying to create a thriving live streaming platform of their own. While YouTube has been competing with Twitch for years, Kick has come out of nowhere in recent times and signed some massive streamers. Uh, with uh, XQC, a streamer who constantly pulls tens of thousands of live viewers signing with Kick, other top streamers in the space are convinced this could be the final nail in the coffin. Was it $100 million? $100 million, I think? What the hell? Let me see. Oh, 70, 70 million, only $70 million, but it's a non-exclusive to your partnership. Now here, okay, so I'm going to get back into this, but I'm like, if they've got that kind of money to throw $70 million at this guy and knowing that Amazon 
is is clearly having trouble with Twitch, with monetizing it, with making it work. And these guys are apparently like crypto billionaires. Why don't you just buy Twitch off of Amazon? Say, you know what, Amazon, we're going to give you like a half a billion dollars and we're just going to buy the whole damn thing. That's what we're going to do. We're going to buy the whole damn thing and we'll just integrate it into Kick or whatever. I, I'm just saying, if you've got that kind of money to sink into one, one deal, you would think you would have the money to just buy Twitch off of Amazon because I think they would sell it. I, I speculated before that they could sell it. They did a video saying, what if they would sell to Rumble? Wouldn't that be fun? If they sold to Rumble because Rumble uh, tends to lean right. And uh, it would be so fun to see Twitch streamers and Rumble streamers uh, meshing because that, that would just be a glorious bonfire to watch. It would be like when Elon Musk bought Twitter, but uh, I don't know if that would happen. So yeah, st other streamers are saying Twitch is done. It says done. Uh, Mizkiff, Twitch is done and not just on Twitch. OTK called out Twitch following the ad changes and threatened to leave. The platform of things didn't change. I think uh, Asmongold's part of that. Uh, while they've stuck around, it's hard to say how long they'll stay. Hey, kick streaming. You already know, bro. You've been a day one. Yeah. Um, Asmongold was offered a fat deal himself, you know, and uh, that was what, like last month or something. So they probably had you know, certain people they were looking at. They just went through like top 10 list and said, hey, these guys will offer them this much money. Asmongold tweeted at Kick following the announcement. If uh, this is more than a tease and he were to make the switch, that'd be another streamer that pulls in tens of thousands of viewers on Twitch off the platform. Moist Critical also chimed in by taking a jab at Twitch. Holy shit, don't worry. Twitch is offering other top streamers a free ice cream cone once a month to keep them exclusive on their platform. That was the thing. I was watching the video with... Ninja. And he was angry because he's like, I'm making no money on Twitch now. And they wanted me to partner with them and I wouldn't be making any money. I make all my money on other platforms, but I'm on Twitch because I started on Twitch and I've got a, you know, a following on Twitch, but he's like, I really have to rethink this. I could totally see Ninja jump and ship. I mean, he went to mix for a while while that was the thing. The only thing I worry about with kick is again, they're throwing around massive amounts of money you know, do they have a long-term plan or is the plan just to cripple Twitch, you know? And if you've got that much money, just fucking buy Twitch. That's what I don't, I don't understand. Um, yeah, I said record breaking hundred million. It's, I guess it's 70 million, 70 million. So it's not looking good guys. Uh, you know, um, again, you know, back to Ninja and uh, I watched this video two days ago. He said that, uh, he had some, some massive issues with them. Um, this is on, uh, his, his Twitter reminder that Twitch not allowing multicasting, not only me, but for all people, including partners and affiliates only hurts their platform and creators on their site. Exclusive contracts are different, of course, and should be handled on base to base. But, uh, overall, overall, it's time we give power back to the creators. It's time we give power back to the creators. I don't think Amazon cares about giving power back to the creators. Again, I think it bought Twitch as a play thing. We watched what they did with Comixology. Comixology was the uh, biggest digital media or digital uh, comics platform out there. And they just like left it rot. <laughs> and they, you know, they're, they're just rolling it into Kindle. They don't care. They don't care about Twitch. Uh, Amazon is so big. Twitch is change in the couch cushions for them. It doesn't matter how much money they bring in. That's the thing too. Like, you know, they laid a bunch of people off and they talked about the revenue and how much of that revenue gets flipped. They just flip it to back to creators because it's in tips and chats and then that sort of thing. I don't think their actual profit is good at all, which is why the CEO left, which is why they laid off a quarter of their staff, which is why they changed the uh, the share from 70-30 to 50-50. I think Twitch is absolutely positively done at this point. And if they lose... Asmund Gold, if they lose Ninja, hell, if they would uh, uh, go after um, Amaranth, you know, uh, any other major, I mean, the only person will be left on that platform is Hassan Abi at that point, <laughs> you know, because he's going to go down with the ship. But like everybody who can get out is getting out. It's done. Twitch is, Twitch is done. It's just done. And uh, they killed themselves. And I don't think Amazon cares. I really don't think they care. They'll just be like, oh, that's another you know multi-billion dollar write down. 
you know, we can just, you know, write that off, save some money on our taxes, a little bit of money on our taxes. It's like claiming one dependent, you know? So anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll keep an eye on the situation. I don't expect us to do anything with Twitch going forward because there's no point. There is no point in getting invested uh, again in Twitch. Uh, talk to you later. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.